Okay, this is what I was trying to tell you right here. There's a big area where I can put, like right there, I can put a that engine. It's pretty small. It's like two feet wide and two feet high at the most. And so I should put it like right there. Maybe put a differential transmission up to right here and then the steering wheel with a long shaft there with a, with a seat. But I don't know. Uh, there's another area back here where I've got the engine for the hydraulic pump right there. I could put the engine there too and then just put some long uh, connections for the uh, steering and the uh, starting the engine and all that up, up, you know, up here where the uh, steering wheel and the seat would be. But anyway, that's, that's, what, it, that's what I'm thinking about doing. It makes for a good project. And uh, I'll tell you what, this thing works good. Here's this uh, external emergency pump that I put a remote for. <coughs> See? And it brings up, you know, it does everything. So, pretty neat, huh? There's an engine right there that I put in. I'd buy it. There's a hydraulic pump. And here's that uh, bracket I had to build, you know fabricate myself and of course that one down there. I still gotta we'll put a well stuff, you know, another 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 thing like this, put it right there, weld it. Same thing over here, it's loose. You know, that's just to sit on top or get on top. But I painted this thing, looks looks pretty good. I was gonna paint it gray like like the trailer, but I figured white is it's an old tech it's the color, so okay. it doesn't look right with the nice wheels, tin ply. There's that the track retractor that I used to pull it around. And it works good, but you know it's kind of a pain. I need a tire on the side, and it's like 150 bucks, so I think it just make it make it a project. And just that way I can drive it around the, uh, the property, you know, and then drive it up here to the water well, take out the pipe whenever I need to. And there's my other boom over there. I'll uh, eventually build another trailer for it and uh, put the controls on it. And Well, it, it's really ready to go. It just, just needs some switches to, for solenoids. It's electrical. Uh, not like this one. Well, it, it, no, I'm sorry. It does use... As a matter of fact, that engine right there, it's from that pump over there. It works good. And I bought a new one over here. Uh, it's over there. A bunch of junk here. I've got it. So I've got the spare one for that engine over there. I mean for that uh, boom. So one of these days I'll get it working and i probably sell it. You know, I don't need to. There's my insulating bucket goes inside the bucket over there that way you work on electrical stuff you don't get electrocuted this is a insulating boom it's, it's, it's insulated because because of this right here yeah it uh, extends out and it's like fiberglass or something but anyway that's that's how it works now oh, I've got my emergency pump that works. I've got it running off two right now, but I only need one. There's a pump right there. And the electrical is, comes off these batteries that I put on there. Yeah, works real good. Well, anyway, we'll talk to you later.